Hello YouTube friends, welcome to this channel. I'm your host, Robin. A little bit about myself, I'm a speed painter from Indonesia. I am by no means a professional. Therefore, when I make content in this channel, I plan to improve together with you, my viewers. That's all for introductions about myself, now to the intro of the video. This video is going to be a series on deconstructing references, which will be posted every Tuesday on 3 p.m. GMT plus 7, starting from now. This video is unscripted, by the way, after all the basic introductions, so it'll be a lot of improvisation. Let's get to it. So here's a fan art of Audrey Hepburn that I recently did. So today we're going to talk about what makes the face a face. A very simplified version. So like maybe you guys are wondering why does my face not look like a face or it's like what are the basic structures of the face that I have to draw to make it look like a face. So the best way to start with that actually is to simplify a realistic reference like this. So let me decrease the opacity of the reference here. So not only the face, but I'm also going to be drawing the entire head. So here we go. What starts off is a circle. Definitely every one of you guys know this from your art teacher, from whatever. It's definitely a circle, right? Here. This is drawn in 3 fourths view, so usually in front view the circle will look like this. But in three in a side view, the circle is gonna look something like this. Because this is the ear, right? This is the ear, the jaw, blah 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 blah. This is gonna be like this, it's gonna be the ear, the jaw, blah 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 blah. Here. See? You can see that this and this it looks kind of almost the same. Because this is a blend of this and this, right? So it goes with the three four shape. Okay. So now we have the the big head shape. We got a big head. Now we can go to the other parts, right? So first, um, disclaimer: if you want to do a contouring like this, and then you like trace the face and then learn it like this, blah blah. It's okay, but it's much better to learn from um, the structures of the head so you guys can like it's like you're trying to build a car if you only know how to build the outside part and not the engines inside of it or the structure yeah that's the word the structure you won't be able to replicate the thing or you won't be able to make a new car for example so the structure of the face and the head here we're gonna start first by looking at where she's facing. She has a three-fourth shape, right? So you, you can see a line here, like an arbitrary line here. It drags up and curves here. It's like a coconut up here, right? Okay, we have an arbitrary line around here. We also have her eyes here. I might have drawn this circle wrongly. I am so sorry. So yeah, this might be the right circle thing okay so you've got the eyes around here and here right so I'm gonna make this center line around here fun fact the, if you draw a head if you draw a head like in a contour way contour is the outline by the way for you guys don't know the eyes usually around the middle here and then here's the eyebrows then here's the nose Here's the mouth, and blah blah blah. Okay, so the eye is usually almost definitely in the middle for adult faces. I don't know about babies too. Okay, so the circle that I'm drawing is going to represent that for now. If you really want to like draw the real circle, you're gonna have to trace the back of the head and go something like this, something like this probably. Yeah. I am very bad at line art. I really am. So my lines are usually kind of sketchy. Okay, so here we go. We got something like this here. Then we have what? What do you see first after you like see the head? You see the other parts, like the jaw, the, the ear, whatever. So first we're gonna have to determine the position of the ear. So here's the ear right here. 
if you go from the side view, the ear is definitely gonna be a bit to the back. A bit to the back, so it's not exactly half, it's a bit to the back. Then here, you got the ear. The ear is resting somewhere around here. There you go. With that information in mind, when you see Audrey Hepburn here, here's the ear, it's a little bit to the back. See, it's not like exactly half and half. Then you've got this line here, so we can indicate where the ear is. Why? Because we want to draw the jaw. See? It connects down here to the jaw. Simplified version. Okay, so you can connect this to this. But wait, there's a problem. If you want to connect this to this, you don't know the structure of the of this face here. It'll screw you in the long run. So even though you can know how to draw, oh, other happens here, here. But if you don't know how to do the, this part, it'll screw you in during other faces. So let me do a quick one over there. So all of these features, they're all hooked in a single system, which is a triangle. Here, right? It's a triangle. Remember this, it's very important. So if you have a face here, right? I'll make it straight so you guys can see. For example, this is the eye and then here. So to make sure you know where the triangle is, this is half the face, right? This is like around length, length here. You draw an eye in the middle. Then you draw the two eyes next to it. Make sure, you gotta make sure that this is around half an eye, this is around half an eye. Every person's face is different, and also your taste might be different, so you have to be careful. If you go from the side here, there are also planes here. See, look at this, this is an eye, this is an eye, this is an eye, it's gonna be distorted a bit. You have an eye, but a plus, it's not a half eye, it's a full eye now. So you have to be very careful on where you're facing, right? So after you have the eye, you go up a bit, you do this. There is a trapezium here. This is important. When I was drawing Audrey Hepburn, I learned that um, here, there's a trapezium above like the nose, the nose bridge thing. This trapezium is very important because it'll make your pictures look kind of feminine and usually more accurate to reality. So boys usually have this thing a bit like this. Usually I draw them because they're usually angry, but girls are more like this, right? And then you have your eyebrow, you position that to start your eyebrow, you have your eyebrow, then you stretch it out a little bit here, a little bit outside of the eyes, right? Just a little bit. Then you have an angle here, right? You have an angle, you can aim it here. You can make it like a triangle, you can make it like a square. This will be the jaw. Jaw will be like this, a little bit bend, just bend the triangle or square thing here. You have the nose around here, you have the mouth around here, there you're done. So with this information in mind, right, with this information in mind, you can now, this is the eye, you see, you, you trace it for example, this is the eye, you have another eye here, you have another eye here. Remember, eyes are not flat, they are, uh, what do you call it, Sphe they're spherical, kinda spherical, kinda. So, you have this caving in here, if it's in a tree fort you can see it better, then you have this, the eyebrow, you have the other eyebrow, which is separated by this final thing, if you go tree fort this will be much more pronounced. Then you just draw a triangle down here, right? You have this thing and you draw a triangle down here. In noses, you can split it here. There you have to split there, so you can split here. Then you split this, the nostril part into this part here, the upper part of the nostril, and the second part is the bottom part, where the hole is. There. Now we go down. The mouth has some sort of curve here, right? To determine like the curve of the mouth, you have to check the reference. But if you don't have reference or you just guessing, you can like draw a line here. It'll usually make some sort of line, straight line. 
somewhere around here. If you make it a bit longer than that, it'll look like you have an underbite. If you make the top part a little bit longer than that, it'll look a little bit weird. So you'll have to be very mindful of that. And also check the thickness of the lips, blah, 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 you're done. See? It's something like that. Then we have the cheek over here, but maybe we'll get there like another time probably because it's over 10 minutes so and we, if you want to draw a face with fast from reference this is where you go so now we erase all that here now when i lower the opacity increase the reference opacity and lower the opacity here it's gonna look almost the same See? Just probably like you gotta correct the edges and like like yeah, there's a dip here, so you're gonna have to correct the edges and blah blah blah. But more or less you got a head. There you go. So to recap what makes a face a face for today, here's the recap. So the first recap oh my goodness is there reason. The first recap recap is this one you have to have a ball the ball will be the head second you need to have this the cross thing or this or this whatever where the eye will be where or where the the eye or the eyebrow you're gonna have to have a like you're gonna have to have the thing so you're gonna have to like tell where the position of the eye is the eyebrows and whatnot the third one is going to be the ear line right you're gonna have to have the ear line so you have the positioning of the jaw fourth you're gonna have to have this the triangle remember guys this is really the triangle is really important so one plus two plus three plus four you got all that it'll turn into something like this right if i draw a straight face now i have the ear line here oh yeah the fifth one is a hump is the jaw Hello. don't forget about the jaw so you have the ear here right and i just pull it down here then i put the jaw somewhere around here there you have a head you have the outer shape of the head in the triangle, you have the positions of everything, blah, 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 and you have something like this. See? You have a head. Even in a cartoon position, um, the, the head looks okay. So, and as I said, if you want to learn like how to draw heads or how to draw something, you should start with something realistic because um, rather than referencing manga or anime first. Why? Because if you do manga or anime first, you're gonna have a hard time knowing like where exactly are the structures because they're already simplified, right? Like this this guy here, he's simplified. But you need to know the intricate details so you can simplify them. So I can, for example, I can make Audrey look like this, right? Like something like this why not see i just made some some sort of an anime version of audrey Hepburn. very simple very simple structure based on this and if there's anything wrong i can like oh check reference then here there you go. See, you made a simple version of Audrey Hepburn, and you don't even. Know. But from here, if you want to deconstruct this face, you can't do it as clear as this. Sadly, you you've lost like all the details and stuff like that. By referencing a real thing, you can learn about the intricacies, the details, the, for example, the flesh, the fat. All those kind of stuff. You, we'll get to that later in a, in a future video, I hope. 
So there you go. This is what makes a face a face, what makes a head a head. This is going to be part one of my Tuesday videos. So every Tuesday I'm going to post these kinds of videos where we deconstruct references and we learn together what makes, for now, what makes a face a face. Please let me know in the comments below, like, what should I cover next? We can learn more things, like, according to what you like. So it'll be way, way faster and it'll be more interesting for you. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you learned something so you can use this to practice. And I hope you learned how to see faces better like the structures and all that. If you're ever confused, always remember the recap. A sphere, a cross, the ear, the triangle, the jaw, and you're all set to go. That's all for now. Um, please follow me on all my social medias. I'll link them in the description below. Please like this video if you think this video has helped you. Consider subscribing because I'm going to try to make more content so that you can learn how to draw better with me. So we'll be improving together and I'll be I'll probably be roasting myself most of the way. And I'll see you in a future video. Bye!